Plenty friends, welcome back to another new Plenty video. Today we're gonna go and do some Plenty chores, some watering, removing some dead foliage of some plants, and possibly cleaning my shelves. Which, by the way, they're from IKEA. People always ask me where I got them from, and IKEA. I'm not sure what it's called. I um, I just searched up white glass metal <laughs> IKEA shelves, and they popped up. Um, so IKEA, the shelves, and a little bit of house chores. I do want to clean some countertops and stuff like that. So. It's gonna be a very relaxing, chill, hopefully motivational kind of video to do some stuff around. And I actually do enjoy watching Plenty of videos because like, I like I like doing it alone. So I like to put on the TV and like vibe. And I'm hoping I can select some pretty good background music because it's going to be a lot of that. Any further ado, let's get started. I wanna clean this. We just finished filming the guest scene, the plan with my boyfriend for my channel and his channel. So I gotta organize this and he I gotta put these plants back where they belong. And we gotta go and water a lot of plants, which my boyfriend's gonna help me out because like we used the fish tank um, water. And these are the shelves that I was talking about that I wanna clean. You can see some neem oil in there. I do, I wanna try to put like what other plants on this shelf in the, in the guest tub, and the other one in my tub, rinse them off and then spray neem oil on them just to like give them a nice, you know, wash to remove the dust and any um, neem oil that was in the foliage and wash off any mineral buildup on the, on the soil and then reapply some neem oil, make them all nice and fresh and then place them back where they belong and at that point, the shelves should be clean. So the goal is to clean these two shelves. I would love to clean this table. It's going to be a pretty long video if I can get all of this done. Um, clean this too. Um, I'm going to set the, the vacuum to clean the carpet. I'm gonna clean this table, wash some dishes, um, and I'll obviously organize all of this stuff and 1000% to water a lot of the plants that need watering, especially the plants that are in the ceiling. Um, what I do is I give them, um, I don't have like a cash pot, like that's a cash pot and the one in that one is a cash pot, the one grinding one, but a lot of them don't have that. They have saucers, but sometimes it's not enough. So I like to give them a nice, good bottom watering um, and it lasts a lot longer, so I guess we can just get started. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna start, but I guess we can remove the, some dead foliage that happens on plants like this Chinese evergreen. Um, so let's start. these plants this entire show this entire shelf of plants we're gonna put them in the tub but before i do i want to show you guys the plants that i have right now because a lot of them are doing pretty good um this is my green heart leaf variegated philodendron i just finished propagating it and she's already developing some new um shoots you can see right there um over here as well that's where it's gonna sprout I should really cut my nails. Um, over here as well. Um, 
this with my middle finger right there. <clears throat> so it's gonna get nice and bushy. I might just gonna put those. I also did end up chopping it because this is my one cutting, but because I did this, it's gonna get more bushy, which is exactly what I want. Just so you guys can see the Jacena variegation. And then we have my Alvo Sanguinium that I did via cutting as well. Super pretty, I love the vibe and how it looks. And then we have my Silver Splash that I did by a node cutting. I got the mother plant from Etsy, it died. But thank God I did some plant insurance, which is basically taking cuttings from the mother plant that you buy. And um, yeah, you can see the splash on the oldest foliage and the new foliage. It kind of looks like a silvery and kind of, but you can see the splashiness. One of my favorite scandopsis. Super duper beautiful. And then I have my jade scandopsis, which I also just finished chopping. You can see where I cut it from. So, pretty interesting. I did it yesterday. It's kind of funny how you can see that. I, like I said, I love chopping my plants because it makes the mother plant a lot more fuller, you guys. It makes it look super duper nice. Unless you really want it, like, them to get super duper long, then that's up to you. It's personal preference. But I, after letting my plants grow super duper long, it makes it harder to like maintain them. Um, personally, and then um, I guess like making free plants, and it's a bonus that another plant gets more nice and bushy. Here's my philodendron code, super gorgeous, it's one of its newest leaves. Love that, and it's putting out another new leaf. You can see some potential nodes where I can chop it. <laughs> Not right now, though, I'm really appreciating the foliage, super beautiful. And then we have a Brazil that I also did by Propagations. Look at that. This was from last year. She got super duper long. It's crazy. This was from Nodes. A lot of times I'm gonna go place them in the tub, gonna go r rinse them off, um, and just wash off any dust that it has. And spray some neem oil on them as a preventative for pest, and because it makes them look shiny, and I really, really do love a good shiny plant. <laughs> Um, this was a philodendron. I'm not sure what this is. I got it as a little baby, but I know it's a fellow. And then my Hoya something, the girl from Plantarina. It got burnt when I had it outside of the house. But I did some cuttings recently, and I'm hoping that I can get more bushy or just promote more growth because I want it to, you know, just look a little bit better. Then we have this plant that my mom got me. Super pretty. And then we have this beautiful Jeliscantia. Gorgeous. I love the back of the leaves. It's like a beautiful pink. Looks a lot like the Jeliscantia in a look. And um, that's the way the top shelf. Gonna collect these sauces. These sauces are from Dollar Tree. They sell them all the time in spring. And I highly recommend if you have a lot of plants and you want some cheap saucers. Um, you get what you pay for, so like 50 of them, one will be damaged or broken. If you like really like, you know, bend it a lot, it will break. But it's very, very affordable if you just super duper careful with them. It's not like glass careful, you know, but you don't want to like push them together. Um, got my fall decor. Can you guys see the second shelf? Very little, but just to other your plants. You have a beautiful air plant. Love it. And then I'm gonna place it right next over here. We should really get there later on, but I wanna clear this out so I can clean the shelf. You can see how dirty it is actually. And I wanna clean the plants. We got this bird's nest fern that I was struggling a lot with. And then once I just started watering it, which is basically what it wants it, it wants it a lot of water. It started putting out a lot of new leaves, which you can see right there. Beautiful, super duper healthy. I see that mineral. I love when it does this stuff. It's from the tap water. Could also be from the fertilizer, but I don't fertilize with artificial fertilizer anymore. I just use a bunch of fish tank water, which has a little bit of fertilizer, fish poop, but I don't think it's from that. I think it's just from the tap water. Um, another saucer. Just pushing it back up. Then we have this new potos. I'm not sure. I believe I did it by nodes. Like, 
two years ago. Look at that leaf. I love when it reverts back. Super duper nice in size. And um, well, I think I got it for clearance. I'm not that sure. I know that I have a lot of neon photos that I did repropagations, but I love a good neon photos. They're just amazing for those dark corners that need a splash of color and are not so finicky and don't need a lot of maintenance, but give you that beautiful tropical vibe. We're gonna now look at the very, very bottom. If I can like point it down, there we go. We have this just enough, I, oh my God. <laughs> We have this just sent up photos that I propagated by nodes. I see this. I'm not sure if it's damage. But it's like some sort of fungal. But I propagated by nodes, I guess, on a coastal farm pot. But people are thinking about it from coastal farm, but it's fine. Um, beautiful. By single node cuttings. I just love propagating plants, you guys. Look at this new leaf. It is getting super, like, I started to trail. I'm not gonna chop it though. <laughs> I really want to though, but I'm not going to. Super pretty. I think this is just damaged because it is super duper close to the grill light, but it could be fungal. I'll just cut it off, but pretty. Then we have my Night Owl Santeria. Super gorgeous. We have this Hoya that was super duper pretty, but it got burnt. Like a chicken nugget. This one did have a crazy infestation of aphids, but I tackled it down with a lot of rinsing and um, Captain Jackson memorial. But yeah, there is a lot of damage, but I will be giving it a haircut pretty soon so I can flush out more growth on top and fix those spots. But it's looking pretty good. A lot of sad leaves. Which, yeah, I'm gonna shake it to make it easier for me, but. Kinda cute. It's a Hoya, and it's a little bit, it's, it has like a splash. You can see that. Not sure what it's called though. Uh, we have two more plants. My Christmas cacti, or cactus, that I had for the longest period of time. And one of my faves, look at that. Super, I had it for super duper long. And um, it's really, really easy to look after. I am looking for a derogated one. It's on my wish list. We have this, another cactus that I got from Ikea a while back. And here it is. The uh, part did broke off, but it hardens off. I love the variegation in the, in the middle. Just have it in this cute little pot. <laughs> Just chilling and vibing. Um, in the house, this was outside getting like full blast on sun. So the transition was pretty interesting how it just converted, how it just handled um, in certain conditions. It does have a lot of like artificial light, but so pretty cool. You can see like the small leaves. I'm not sure it's gonna focus, but super duper cool. And that's basically it on the shelves. Now we're gonna go place the plants in the tub and then we're gonna go and rinse these shelves off. Uh, well, clean them and rinse the plants. But we're gonna clean the shelves and continue with some plenty chores. stop recording but oh, I didn't record it but here it is 
the vacuum's gonna clean that up, but everything looks, it's not the best, it's not that shiny, it's not streak free, but it looks a lot better than how it looks before. Um, right now I have some plants in the other tub with the neem oil already. I'm gonna give it like in two hours and then um, I might put more plants because I have another, you can use the other tub to shove in more plants. So we might go ahead and clean this one as well. The other shelf, I don't know if I told you, I'm gonna use it for my boyfriend. He's gonna have the other room to plentify his collection. The reason why is because I cannot fit any more grow lights in this bedroom. And also because like we both have different styles and different like aesthetics and stuff like that. Um, and he likes begonias and I like, you know, tropical plants, which they're both kind of tropical plants, but begonias like cooler temperatures, you know, they're a little bit finicky. And in the plant room, it's always really, really hot in here. We're not hot, 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 but it's warm. And um, yeah, I don't know. But um, look at this new leaf. I'm just so surprised how beautiful it looks. But I see, and I have a lot more grow lights, but I cannot set them up in the plant room. So he's gonna have the other room just like how it was before. Um, I'm just really happy how it turned out clean. It does look a lot more open. I might put something here. I don't know what I might put, maybe at this table. Um, so we're gonna clean this last one. I mean, we can literally just clean the entire shelf, but I don't know if I will. We might, we're gonna figure it out. <laughs> Sofas are cleaned, everything is doing super duper good. I just love how this looks, you guys. And love. I don't know how I'm gonna do it for Christmas, but we'll find out. <laughs> just love this leaf. I was putting out a new leaf. That is so cute. This plant does need a good dusting. I still don't see no new leaves, but yet again, I haven't really, I haven't watered my tech installation for like, I think a week already, so she would need a good watering. You can see the golden pothos need water too. Look at this new leaf. <laughs> Everything is looking great. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So I'm gonna take a quick little lunchy break and then we're gonna clean this table and put these plants in the other bedroom. And, um, well, not bedroom, but like in the other restroom and the tub as well. We're gonna clean this. I was gonna like do this first, but the living room needed a good clean first. Um, and we should put all the plants back together, but I got so yeah this one was looking so bad and then i just watered it like four days ago and it looks so much better beautiful i just love how huge that leaf is and then my neon potos i'm gonna hang it i'm just looking for a macrame my brazil i'm gonna hang it as well it's still in its original pot so i can use the hooks but um yeah so excited.
to friends. So, yo, that's not so weird. <laughs> we're gonna go, it's the next day, and we're gonna go and finish the plenty shelves, water some platitas, and wrap this video up. Um, then that's basically it. After this, it's not gonna be part of this video, but we're, I'm planning to go to Ikea, Trader Joe's, because they're kind of really, really far, but they're kind of close by. And then my, at my mom's house, because like I haven't seen them for a hot minute, and they're like arriba. Ikea's on the top, and I think Trader Joe's is on top too. So that's what I'm gonna do after this plant choice video. But I'm super excited to wrap this up because like I really don't want to post this video already. <laughs> today honestly we did a lot these past two days hope you guys enjoyed if you did get a victims up so let me know send me positive advice to each and every one of you guys and i'll see you in the next one bye